So we're going to take a look at uh, rational functions, summarizing rational functions, and going from a function to a graph, and then looking at a graph and turning that into a function. So let's take a look at a first one. Let's take f of x equals 2x plus 3 over x minus 1. So what, in general, what we want to find to graph the uh, rational function is we want to find vertical asymptote, and that's where the denominator equals zero, or the function is undefined. Uh, we want to look at end behavior. Or this is a horizontal asymptote. Uh, you can find a y-intercept. Find x-intercepts, and then if we have holes, okay. So generally, gonna see what this graph looks like. So first we're going to look uh, for a vertical asymptote. So vertical asymptote occurs where the denominator equals 0, where the function is undefined. And that occurs at x equals 1. So let's say this is the line x equals 1. That's our vertical asymptote. For a horizontal asymptote, or the end behavior, we want to see what happens to f of x as x goes to infinity, or as x gets very, very, very large, but the positive direction and a negative direction. So here when we look at 2x plus 3 over x minus 1, as x gets very, very large, really the th plus 3 and minus 1 are relatively meaningless. The ratio goes to 2x over x or 2. Um, another way to think of this, since the degree on top and degree on the bottom are the same, the asymptote of the end behavior will be the ratio of the leading coefficients. So in this case, it would be 2 over 1. So So we have the horizontal asymptote, the line y equals 2. Um, the y-intercept is where x equals 0. So y-intercept is where x equals 0. In this case, we have 2 times 0 plus 3 over 0 minus 1 gives us 3 over negative 1 or negative 3. So 0, negative 3, roughly speaking. There's our y-intercept. Then for an x-intercept, we have where y equals 0. And this happens when the numerator equals 0. So when 2x plus 3 equals 0, or when x equals negative 3 halves, that's the x-intercept. So here's the point, negative 3 halves, 0. And as far as holes go, we don't have holes because uh, there are no factors that are common to the top and bottom. So basically, roughly speaking, A rational function looks something like this. Let's have a look at another one. So we're going to take a function f of x equals, let's say, 2x squared plus 6x plus 4 over x squared minus 1. And we're going to turn this 
function into a graph. Again, looking at these components, the vertical and horizontal asymptotes, x and y intercepts, and any potential holes. So what we're going to have to do here first is get this function into some sort of factored form so we can identify potential factors. Oops. So factoring, we get 2 times x plus 2 x plus 1 over x plus 1 x minus 1. Come up with a graph. So, so first let's find our vertical asymptote. So vertical asymptote occurs where the denominator equals zero. Now in this case, what we see we've got factors that are the same on the top and bottom. So what we do is we look at the reduced form of the function, which is 2x plus 2x minus 1. And so these two the factors, x plus 1, cancel on top and bottom. So this is our simplified function. So we'll get where the denominator equals 0 is that x equals 1. So here's our vertical asymptote, the line x equals 1. Right. Horizontal asymptote, or the end behavior, is what happens as x gets large, <coughs> both positive and negative. Again, we see the degree on top and bottom is the same, degree of 1. So we take the ratio of leading coefficients. In this case, on top, we'd have 2x plus 4 and 1x minus 1. So the ratio of top leading coefficient to bottom is 2 to 1. So we have an end behavior with the asymptote at y equals 2. Y-intercept is where x equals 0. Plug that into our uh, simplified function. We get 2 times 0 plus 2 over 0 minus 1, which is 4 over negative 1 or negative 4. So the point 0, negative 4 is our y-intercept. X-intercept is where y equals 0, or where the numerator equals 0, which is when 2x plus, or x plus 2 equals 0, which is x equals negative 2. So at negative 2, 0, we have our x-intercept. And as far as holes go, here we have <coughs> factors that are the same on top and bottom. So the function basically looks like this, 2x plus 4 over x minus 1, but it's also undefined at this point x equals negative 1. So where the so pole occurs where that equals 0. To, to account for the matching factors, top and bottom. So let's say here we have the point. Here's x equals negative 1. What would the function value be if we were looking at just this function? Well, we can say 2 times x plus 2 over x minus 1 gives us... 2 times 1 over negative 2, which is negative 1. So the whole would occur at the point negative 1, negative 1. So the x value is negative 1. The y value would be 
to negative 1. So there's that hole. And so now we have all the components. Uh, we can draw a function. We have our asymptotes, our x and y intercepts, and our hole. And this is the graph of f of x equals 2x squared plus 6x plus 4 over x squared minus 1. Functions and turn them into graphs. Now we're going to see if we can take a graph and find a function. Again, what we're going to do is see, and we're going to look for the asymptotes. What does that mean in terms of factors and behavior, x and y intercepts and holes? So here's a graph. And let's say there's a vertical asymptote at the line x equals negative 3. Horizontal asymptote or end behavior at the line. Oops y equals 1. And All right, so let's assume that this is a straight, smooth curve through these points. Um, so we have vertical asymptote. It looks like at x equals negative 3. A horizontal asymptote. N behavior. Y equals 1. We have a y-intercept of 0. I'm going to tell you this, 0, negative 2 thirds, 0, negative 2 thirds, of a x-intercept at the point 2, 0, and we have a hole at the point negative 1, negative 3 halves. So based on this information, what, uh, what's our function look like? So we'll start with the numerator and denominator. So for a vertical asymptote of x equals negative 3, the denominator equals 0 when x equals negative 3 or when x plus 3 equals 0. So we have this factor in the denominator. Function is undefined. Horizontal asymptote means the degree on top and degree on the bottom are the same. <clears throat> now let's look here at the hole. So the hole occurs at negative 1. That means when x equals negative 1, or x plus 1 equals 0, this factor occurs on top and bottom. So these match. Function is also defined undefined at negative 1, so that gives us our whole. And then <coughs> uh, the x-intercept occurs when the numerator equals 0. So when you know, on top x minus 2 or x minus 2 equals 0. So we have a factor of x minus 2 on top. So here we see when x is 2 the top equals 0. So that's our x-intercept. And as far as the y-intercept goes, um, <clears throat> the 
when x equals 0, well, these two cancel. And on top we'd have 0 minus 2, so our simplified function, canceling the x plus 1 on x plus 1 on top and bottom. We have x minus 2 over x plus 3, so 0 minus 2 over 0 plus 3 is negative 2 thirds, which is what we expect. And the uh, end behavior or the horizontal asymptote is y equals 1, which means degree on top and bottom are the same, and the leading coefficients are equal, which gives a ratio of 1. So it looks like our function is x plus 1, x plus 2, x minus 2, or x plus 3, x plus 1, or if we multiply we get x squared minus x minus 2 over x squared plus 4x plus 3.